Welcome to The Casting Couch, the show that gives hidden talent in South Florida exposure. I'm your host, Keith Harrell, and on today's show, we're going to talk to an up-and-coming filmmaker. When we return, you'll meet Marcus Marsh. Stay tuned. He is balancing profession and his passion. This new filmmaker has a drive unlike any other. Cast and Couch family, help me welcome Marcus Marsh to the couch. Thank What's you. up, man? Thank you, sir, for finally letting me on the couch. <laughs> hey, don't start, bro. Do not start, man. How you feeling, bro? Oh, uh, man, I feel wonderful, man. This is uh, a dream come true to finally make it on here. I've been helping you shoot it, but I've been wanting to sit here. <laughs> That's right. And if you guys haven't seen what he's been doing, hey, it's going to be coming out pretty soon. It's been appearing out pretty soon. But uh, let, OK, well, now you're in front of the camera. OK, so let's tell everybody out there around the world that's watching Cast and Couch who you are. Well, I'm Marcus Marsh. I am from uh, Tennessee. I uh, got down here in Miami around 2001. Tennessee? Yeah, yeah. Ch 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 uh, Tennessee. A little cold up there. <laughs> and so you can't beat this in February. Look at this weather out here. Look Man, at this water out here. It is beautiful out here. You yeah. like it? Yes, sir. It helped me decide quickly to move down here. There you go. There you go, man. Mm -hmm. You got to love this venue that we have right here, man. Mm -hmm. um, so what, what brought you to South Florida? Of course, the weather, the, the seafood, <laughs> uh, beautiful women. I knew that I could find my queen here. Really? Yeah. Look at So you. I knew that uh, this was a fertile place. And the diversity, I really enjoy the diversity. Where I'm from, it's uh, pretty simple, uh, but here it's very diverse, and I, I like that. Oh, that's awesome, man, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Now, we said that you're balancing your profession with your passion. Mm -hmm. what, what is your profession? I'm a human, res I was a human resources professional at uh, Jackson Health System. And now I have been uh, very uh, blessed to be in IT now. I've changed into an IT role. However, I also teach HR human resources at the University of Miami, uh, go Canes. And right. I right. am uh, really enjoying, of course, teaching, but I also sit on the board there as well for the Division of Continuing and International Education. So, so how do you balance all that, Mark? I mean, that's a lot just for anybody just working doing 40 hours or more is just rough but you're doing that plus you're teaching plus you have a family your, your, your young daughter uh you got a lot that's on your plate man how, how do you make time to even work your passion well as you know uh i haven't done a very good job at it but because we are on a mission and we're very focused on this mission of uh, building our network and, and, and actually making quality productions that will make an impact on our community that I eat and sleep this as well as 
uh, learning how to be an IT professional. <laughs> and, and the teaching, also giving my students the best that I can give them in every class, in every second of that class. Right. Um, my daughter, I have missed the first six years of her Saturday, but I owe her and I'm paying her back now over time. She's eight years old now, Melania Mars. And I bet you she Mars. let you know about it, huh? Oh, she doesn't remember, that's the good part. <laughs> Tried to get all this done before she got old enough to remember. There you go. Uh, that I wasn't there, but the main thing is that now I'm building um, a legacy for her. This may not even be for me. Right. What we're doing right here may not even be for me, it may be for her. Right. And so these are the kinds of things that, that drive me and keep me going. We don't sleep. We'll sleep when we die. <laughs> and so hustle, that's hustle, where hustle, right? we, 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 it's no need in stopping. There's okay. no need in stopping. I hear that. Now, you done did some short films. Mm -hmm. And um, a little bit later, we're going to take a look at uh, one of them okay. um, that we're pretty excited about. And, you know, you'll brief me on that a little bit later. Okay. But you've done a few short films and you've done some, some, um, some, some working around, you know, South Florida. Mm -hmm. I mean... How you feel about it? Because you're you're fairly new to to this um, mm -hmm. to this craft. So yes, so how you how you feel about it, man? Well, been doing videography. Started probably dealing with cameras back in '98 '99 with the uh, community access television. I learned how to. A good friend of mine, Zoel Jones, talked me into taking this class uh, on the cameras and production. And where was this in Tennessee? In Tennessee, community access okay. television, and. Uh, I was doing events and promotions uh, back then and oh, okay. had my own business while I was finishing my master's, Global Impact. Um, and we basically, you know, started messing around with having people. We had roamers come and we were trying to do a uh, dance show, kind of like a soul train. Right. And so, you know, started dibbling and dabbling. And I knew that photography was my passion and, and videography, but I was too scared to go into it back then because it did cost a lot. Yeah. And so when opportunity and preparation meets, uh, now that you, everything is digital, I'm able to at least get into the game. And so that's mm -hmm. why I got the cameras and everything. It, it is a little bit easier now. I will say that mm -hmm. it is a little bit easier, um, especially when you, you're talking about editing oh, yeah. and you're talking about transferring files and all the rest of that stuff. Oh, you yeah. know, before it used to be a time where you had to have FedEx and send stuff Exactly. the different places but now it can just be sent over the internet uh so it is a little rough but you've been studying this for how long now like i said since 98 99 i got my first certificate in 98 okay. took some classes at um once i got here and then i started um doing videography as ministry when i got my first camera at logos and uh sean lane of snl captured memories was is my mentor and so he taught me a whole lot about cameras. And so we just learned, I learned my craft in the church, actually filming wow. uh, pastors and Dottie Peoples. We had a lot of famous celebrities there. Wow. And then again, long, alongside my mentor, Sean Lane, doing a lot of weddings. We filmed funerals, we filmed uh, parties, bar mitzvahs, any type of event you could name, we film it. There you go. And uh, when the opportunity to go to film school came about, I said, well, this is a little different but it's still in the same direction of, of, of my dream. Right. And it added to, it added a, a lot of um, complexity to it, but it added to the size of this dream just growing bigger and bigger. So getting your background in, I guess we can say the ministry, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, as far as uh, vid vid um, videotaping and, mm -hmm. and videography, um, I guess that was uh, a challenge in itself. Of course, of course. You know, um, I can imagine, you know, some of the things that you had to uh, uh, deal with because you know how it is, and especially if it's a Southern uh, Baptist church. And of it's course. a black Southern Baptist church. It's of a course. whole nother thing. They like things right, you know, <laughs> you know, they'll tell you about an event at the last minute and they'll want to edit it and done in the next minute. And that's okay because it was, again, fertile ground it was a privilege and a pleasure to be able to, to start there. Right. And that's why my future game plan is always to give back, always to uh, do things not only for the church, but for the youth in this community. Right. Because they need this. They need positive images of us uh, on, on the internet and on television. Right, right. And so that's why we do what we do. Well, I tell you what, man, let's just hang out for a little bit. We gotta pay a couple of bills, but okay. when we come back, um, I want everybody to see what I saw. Okay. As far as your short film that you did, okay. uh, we're going to take some excerpts from that 
and um, we can see what your passion is. All right. We're going to get into it, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what's up and coming for Mr. Marsh. Yes, sir. How about that? So, Very good. hey, everybody, just stay tuned. This is the Casting Couch. We'll be right back. itself. A commitment holds us to a higher standard. And it's the commitments we make today that decide who will be tomorrow. We made our commitment to crafting the world's finest vodka. Make yours to getting home safe. Kettle One. Gentlemen, this is vodka. Welcome back to The Casting Couch, the show that gives hidden talent in South Florida exposure. Remember to follow us on Twitter at Casting Couch TV, and you can find us online at thecastingcouchtv.com. We're talking about videos and films and all that good stuff. And right now, we're gonna take a look at one of your clips. And we'll talk about that when we get back. So let's see what we got working here. Mr. Kono? <laughs> You're fired. Again. You have a high school friend to thank for posting a video of you drinking. You refuse us access to your social network. Our cloud discovered your link to a smoker. I've never even met the person before. And that's social media profile. Every post and pic goes viral on the internet. Forever. Ever and ever. <laughs> don't touch your computer and don't speak to anyone. Now get the f out of here. Hey. Hey, baby. What's wrong? It's never fit the corporate mold, anyways. Threshold has become such a sadistic system. It's leaving us to cheese crumbs like ants. Yeah, but that's easy for you to say. A doctor, a scientist, speak four languages. Yes, but there's a 50% unemployment rate. I'd really like to know how my past actions and associations keep me from actually getting a career. Internet socialization. This is a great division. Your generation reveals too much on the net. Thus, ruining their future before they get out of diapers. Yeah, but... They can't make mature decisions. And parents can't help. Arm yourself. I just earned my MBA, my third foreign language, my tenth computer language. Arm yourselves. Man, that was, that was deep, man. That was deep. You got some skills there, bro. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. I, I like that, man. Um, you, you really, you're really doing this thing. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, this particular movie, uh, I would like to thank Jim York at the International Academy of Film, uh, Miami Film School in Hollywood, Florida, uh, for assisting me in helping get this message out to the youth and to the parents as far as do not allow yourself to be misrepresented online uh, or letting anybody else misrepresent you on the internet right. because it's out there forever and ever. There you go. Okay. There you go. That's pretty awesome, bro. So what, what, what you think you're going to be doing for your next project? What's, what's on the horizon for Marcus Marsh? Well, actually, I would like to film a romantic comedy, a little different twist, uh, dealing with relationships and the spiritual concerns 
uh, that go into a relationship. Really? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. That sounds like it's like deep. Like to shoot it right here at Jokes on the Beach. This is one of my favorite <laughs> venues in South Florida. I mean, you got to love it, man. We got the boats out here the and water. everything. I'm, uh, I, I couldn't be, ask for a best, uh, you know, a better day. And, you know, yeah. they, they do what they have to do here, man. Jokes on the beach, man. They have always accommodated us. So, exactly. You know, it's a good place. Exactly. It's a good place, man. So you say a romantic comedy? Yes, sir. Is yes, it going to be uh, more of a black romantic comedy? Or yeah. You're yeah, going to do I, a Harry versus you know, Sally well, type thing? <clears throat> this will have, a uh, again, a spiritual emphasis. So it's not a color thing. It's more of a relationship thing. Okay. Relationship has no colors. That's the beauty of it. I it's like universal. that. It's universal. And so... Um, you know, we have a lot of different opportunities in our lifetime to build relationships, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we also have opportunities uh, and obligated to take care and cultivate those relationships. I like what you were saying about Guys, relationship. I for you here. Check this out. Oh my gosh, my favorite. What the heck is this? This is our signature dish. <laughs> really? Hey, hey man. Hey, Marcus, you How good? You doing? Everybody, this cool. is Bernard Jennings. All and right. uh, take you, a seat, Bernard. Yeah. I didn't know you were on air. Hold yeah, on, let me just, get a seat here. There you, pull you go. Up. So this Relax. Me. Okay, so. Uh, Bernard Jennings, uh, tell us a little bit about Jokes on the Beach since we are here. Well, I'm Vice President of Group Marketing for Jokes on the Beach. This is one of our signature uh, dishes. It's called Banging Shrimp. Banging Made shrimp. with a little areola chili from Dominican Republic. Very, very good dish. A lot of people ask for it. Really? We have a lot of great programs here at Jokes on the Beach. It's a comedy club, sports bar, and nightclub. The only theater-style restaurant in all of South Florida. I'd like to thank uh, Lenny Moore. And you Moore. got a view that's like crazy. Oh, yeah. I'd like to thank Lenny Moore, my partner, for conceptualizing this whole endeavor and bringing me into the picture. Wow. Uh, so I could add some of my marketing expertise okay. into the into Shout the out to Lenny. Yeah. That sounds good. So what's the name of the, uh, the chef that's preparing this? Oh, this is, this is prepared by one of our world-class in all of Miami. His name is Rick. He's a line cook, actually. Really? And this is his, this is his uh, classic. That's his creation? That's his creation. Wow. Okay. All right. And, uh. And people love it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Don't you guys about, try it out? I do. I do. You, you like got to love yes, it, bro. Yeah. You got to love it, man. So, hey, we here. This is Jokes on the Beach. Uh, we got Bernard Jennings, uh, and he does more than just take care of this place. He, he has a whole lot of other things. That's, I'm um, an entrepreneur. Yes, you are an entrepreneur. <laughs> you are an entrepreneur. But we also want to thank Marcus Marsh for coming on the couch and thank telling you. us about his story and also letting us know about what he has on the horizon. Thank you, Marcus. I Thank really appreciate it. The all-new certified pre-owned warranty from Land Rover. Know who your car's been with. It's a soul flow thing. Shot in beautiful Miami, the casting couch is the perfect backdrop. The casting couch is designed to give hidden talent in South Florida exposure. What makes the casting couch unique 
is that it's totally interactive. Social media driven. Tweet us and like us on Facebook at Cast and Couch TV. You can also watch past and current episodes by logging on to thecastingcouchtv.com. Cast and Couch TV. Uncover South Florida's hidden talent. just a new car more than a new interior lighting system it is more than a hot stone massage and more than your favorite scent infused into the cabin it is a completely new era of innovation and the highest expression of mercedes-benz introducing the 2014 s-class the best or nothing Ultra Premium. Perfectly smooth. On next week's show, you're going to meet an incredible woman, Passion Roosevelt. She is motivating plus size women to embrace the skin that they're in. I tell my girls, when you walk in a room, you have to walk in there like you're the star of the whole room. There's no competition in this room. You have already won the Oscar, everything. <laughs> you are the it factor. There you go. So that's the confidence that I teach the women to have. Until then, remember, it's your world. I'm just here to televise it.